Over the years, Run the Corns bus services have been run by various independent and municipal operators, but today only one route with one operator survives. Today, it's time to have a look. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all those in between. My name is Lucy Michaela, and welcome to Runcorn High Street Bus Station. Now, a few weeks ago, I did do a video around the Runcorn Busway. If you're not seeing that, check it in the corner here. However, today, we are back in Runcorn. Um, well, I'm not actually left. This is the same day. But for you, we're back in Runcorn, as we're going to be analysing a route that's rather different compared to the rest. Now, I did say in the beginning there that there have been multiple independent and municipal operators in Runcorn. And... There is still one municipal. Warrington Zone Buses is officially a municipal operator. It's run by Warrington Borough Council, and they do still operate here. They share um, one route, and they operate a second route as well. However, there is only one independent operator left, and that's Ashcroft Travel. Now, they mostly run school runs. However, they do do one regular revenue earning service, which has a rather limited timetable, the Route 52, which runs from here at Runcorn High Street bus station to Beechwood. And today we're going to sample this route, and then also go across a couple of other little bits, including finishing a video on a different route, which used to be run by another municipal smaller operator. So the main focus here is sort of smaller operators, as to me, Warrington Zone Buses is a rather large operator, being the second largest municipal operator left in operation today. So, with that, I will see you on board the bus, which will be a type that we, here on the channel, all love, I'm sure. dart heads off in that direction and I walk in the opposite direction to go to the bus stop on the other side to connect for our next bus. Let me explain why the 52 exists and is the final route operated by an independent from what I can tell. So I think there's two key factors as to why it is the case. Number one is it does pass through the Halton village. Now Halton village is well proper village. Uh, in fact, I should make it run over. In fact, it is very small, uh, quite tight roads, and so I reckon that a lot of the bigger operators with their larger buses, or fleet of potential larger buses like Arriva, might not necessarily fit around them. But secondly, it is funded by Halton Borough Council, so the route is entirely funded by them. Um, they keep the route going, so they basically subsidise the route, which means that the operator gets paid to run the route. So where most independents run a route because they've chosen to, that one is actually funded by the council directly. 
which means that it keeps going. And this is quite common where a, an independent, a smaller route will be funded by the council to keep it going. A really good example of this would be the 391 and 392 routes that we have in Macclesfield. These routes run via very key locations like Poynton and um, state areas in between Macclesfield and Stockport that would really not be connected by buses normally. And when these routes were actually lost, when MCT went bust in 2020 and there was no real urge to get a full service going because of COVID, um, they actually ran uh, the Cheshire uh, transport solutions uh, services they used to do which is the minibus service where you can dial a ride so if you um, needed it to get to work and needed it to get into Manchester or if you were like and you weren't driving you know if you're an elderly person or disabled uh, you could simply order it through uh, TSS um, and they would bring the bus to you I think it's a small fee to pay unless it, uh, you know certain exemptions and stuff exceptions like if you have a freedom pass um, so it, it's a good example of that and then that was brought back through TFGM funding um, and given Go Goodwins so again this route as well is like that with Ashcroft Travel but it is officially the last route run by a smaller operator now as I mentioned before Warringtons do still run a bus service through here in fact they run two services um, that I've seen the 20A and the H20A which I think is like a variation of the route in the evenings or for school runs and the X and the 62 which they run in joint combination with Reaver and we will be covering that service and we're using the X30 to connect to the 62 so I won't do too many clips on the X30 because it's not really what this video is about but I'm going to be using that next which is what I'm waiting here for yeah so the 62 is another one and that was run by Holton Transport which was another municipal operator but a much smaller one in fact it was one of the more popular ones it was one of the more success stories at the time we thought that was the case however it turned out in 2020 um, and 2021 I believe actually I forgot what year did it go do you remember I can't remember I'll probably put it on screen. Um, but in the year that they announced their closure, they actually confirmed that they were making quite a lot of losses. I believe it was like £8.7 million in losses in the year that they decided to cease trading. Um, and there was one more independent operator that still operated into Runcorn until just the beginning of last year, and this was MP Travel. Now, MP Travel, again, a very popular independent operator. They were running the X1 service on contract for Arriva, as well as a couple of other little minor services. And they didn't cease operation because of losing money. They just closed the doors because the person who ran it no longer wanted to operate the company again. Uh, similar to the Isles Coaches story we had when we were in Scunthorpe. And this means that the final actual independent operator um, is Ashcroft. Before that it was MP Travel and they ran the X1 but unfortunately the X1 doesn't exist anymore because it was withdrawn when MP Travel shut down so we couldn't um accommodate keeping the servers going um, so unfortunately that route doesn't exist anymore now there is a x1 but it's a different x1 it's very confusing um, but yeah that's the long-winded story of how Ashcroft became the last independent operator I'm gonna wait here for my x30 I'll give you a few clips of what's here at Beechwood it's mostly just a pub and a best one behind me um, so yeah that's it really I'll see you all when we get back into when we go where we're going to get the uh, 62 I believe it's Holton Lee so anyway I'll see you when we get to the 62 <laughs> Video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my super fans that is Colin Barrow and Ian R on Patreon. Thank you guys very much for your continued support and apologies for the lack of early access this week. Back to the video. Yep, so while the X30 does continue through to Warrington, I'm going to be using the 62. So I've just jumped on the X30 there, it was one of the lovely um, MAN Eco Cities with the Katano City Guard bodywork. I will probably do a video on those in the future, they're like the only gas buses up this way, so they're really quite interesting. Um, but nonetheless, um, we're going to be using the 62, and as I mentioned before, this route was previously operated by Horton Transport, which is like the last municipal operator in the area, um, and the route has since been split between our two operators. So now, Warrington's run a service from Runcorn Town Hall through to Warrington uh, Bus Interchange, Mondays to Fridays, and then Arriva run from Ditton Baguli Avenue uh, or Bagley Avenue to uh, Murdershaw Centre, Monday to Friday. And it's funny. I didn't even remember that I'd said this in this video, but just like last week's video where the Winsford Depot was closing, another thing that has been announced uh, this week is that Riva Runcorn is dropping their 62 route. So as of the time that this is going live, from April, um, the route will only be run by Warringtons, so a new timetable is likely to be announced. But so the Riva route that I did mention just then um, is not going to be around for much longer. So, uh, ironic. Again. I really need to, like, you know... Remember that this might happen when I pre-record things.
And then on Saturdays they extend that same service through to Warrington. So it's sort of like split between the two and it's sort of cut in half during the week, which is a bit weird. I would have thought it'd be the way around, but nonetheless, uh, we are going to use the Warrington's one. So we want to go through to Warrington today to finish today's video. Um, as this previously was the only time you'd see uh, Halton Transport up in Warrington. It was the furthest they went in that direction. Um, so I'll see you on board it. It's going to be a lovely Warrington's bus uh, environment of some sorts. Uh, I've not checked which one yet, so we'll find out when we get on board. that do most of their services, that is Arriva um, and then Warrington's um, doing a couple of services in there but it is mostly just an Arriva operated area which makes sense because there is an Arriva depot in Runcorn but again, it's a bit of a shame, it's one of those sort of the nature of the bus uh, industry at the moment in the UK is that independent operators, smaller operators um, are fading away now as I said before in the video, Warrington's is currently the second most successful municipal operator still in operation the second largest as well. Uh, the largest is of course Nottingham City Transport who also operate the trams there and that one is probably the best example in England, sorry not the UK, but in England of a municipal operator. I, I really do think we should talk more about that and I might go to Nottingham one day and cover that operator. I think I will do later this year when it's a bit more long, longer days because I really want to explain why I love a municipal operator and why I think we need more. Um, but Warrington's is still a very great example and the good news for Warrington's as well is that they are getting a huge amount of Zebra funding in 2023. So this year, by September, a whole new electric EV charging um, facility is going to be built at their depot and they're going to start to replace their entire fleet with fully, with fully electric buses. Um, as far as I'm aware, they're going to do it the most logical way, which is you draw the oldest stuff first from this source, these 18 plates, for example, and the uh, Cheshire Cat branded MMCs last. So these have got plenty of time left in service. They may even be saved in some way when the new uh, fleet is brought in service, but I have been told the entire fleet is due for withdrawal um, by electric vehicles um, by the year 2030. So um, yeah, Warrington's buses in while you can. I'm going to try and get a couple of their cadets in um, today, or at least one of their cadets in today, hopefully, if I've got the money and the time. Um, and if not, I'm going to uh, definitely pop up to Warrington before the, uh, September comes around. Um, I am looking at potentially doing a trip this way in April, actually, so we'll see. Um, Anyway, let's enjoy this ride on this lovely ride to our and I'll see you all in Warrington when we'll round up the video. Okay, and we're now in Warrington, so that is the end of my day. Um, I don't remember if I meant to say anything else here, so I will just switch on to, um, if you guys have enjoyed, then do feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback you have. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, turn on the notification bells. While you're down there, do check out my social links. Remember that does include the Patreon, which now has a £6 superfan tier. This tier allows... 
This tier gives you early access to videos as well as other community related content and extra bonus stuff. But if you can't afford that, free support is still appreciated greatly. My next vlog is unconfirmed, although I don't really think I've been saying that anyway in the previous vlogs I've been filming. Um, whether or not it be the gaming video or the next vlog you choose to watch, I'll be there to see you. Farewell guys, goodbye for now.